We've all spent more than a little time in the pixelated world of Minecraft. Minecraft on its own is quite the barrage of information. So join us today on Game Ranks for 10 facts you may not know about Minecraft. Number 10. Creepers were basically a coding error. Notch was trying to make a pig. He accidentally reversed the length and height of the animal, which resulted in that weird four-legged thing that we all know and love today. It obviously had the pig texture though when it first happened. So he created the green texture that we all are very familiar with with today. It makes you think about how weird minor mistakes can change everything in such a big way, especially when you see somebody walking around with a creeper shirt. Number 9. Notch did not make up the name Minecraft. Notch had been working on the game for a while and had not really come up with a good name. As many game devs do, he spent some time on IRC while programming it and asked people for suggestions. Everybody was very enthusiastic and threw out a lot of names, but Minecraft was the one that stuck. And now Notch is a billionaire in part thanks to that person on an IRC. Number eight, you can actually search Google for what layers ores are in and get one of the pop-up boxes with information in it instead of having to go to the Minecraft wiki, which depending on what you're doing can be a big time saver. Obviously the wikis are still important as they contain much more detailed information, but it's pretty useful when you need to know how far you need to dig in order to get to a specific ore. Number seven, the game RuneScape has been remade inside Minecraft, including the tutorial tutorial island and several quests. It's actually a server called Mindscape that a developer by the name of Sipo3000 created with a large amount of quests, interesting spells, custom weapons, an actual trading system, custom monsters with their own artificial intelligence, and 21 additional skills. For fans of both games, it's pretty much a dream crossover. Number 6. Great Britain's mapping agency, Ordnance Survey actually created a Minecraft map of Great Britain. Now it's not like a one-to-one -one reproduction of the entirety of Britain, it actually is a map itself. That doesn't mean it's not huge, it's actually massive. The map itself takes up 20 gigabytes of uncompressed data and represents over 220,000 square kilometers of mainland Great Britain as well as some surrounding islands. Number 5. You can actually join someone who is playing the Minecraft Pi Edition, that is the edition for the Raspberry Pi computer, which if you're not aware is a tiny computer that's incredibly flexible and used for many different things. But you can join it from the Mobile Edition. So if you're building a mini network or creating something using a Raspberry Pi and want to play Minecraft with your friends, now you know all they need is their phones. Number 4. Notch actually planned a fortress mode. In addition to both creative mode and survival mode, the idea idea was that what you built in creative or survival mode, you and your friends would be able to connect another fortress made by other people and basically run a war type situation between the two. He had also planned a team survival mode, but after people used both creative and survival mode to do basically everything that he had planned, he dropped these plans. Number 3. Notch, or Marcus Pearson, as he has come to be known in Meat Space, meaning that's his real name, and another developer he knew, came up with an idea for a game called Scrolls, which included elements of board games and collectible card games. Bethesda Softworks actually sued him over using the trademark name of Scrolls, saying it conflicted with their Elder Scrolls series of games, which by that logic, series would be trademarked for the Series of Unfortunate Events book series. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't call it a book series. Series is trademarked. Basically, it's a dumb lawsuit. And appropriately so, Notch challenged Bethesda to a Quake 3 tournament to decide the outcome of the dispute. Bethesda didn't really think much of that because a month later they announced it was going to court, but they ended up settling it. And the settlement allowed Notch and the other developer to continue using the Scrolls trademark, which basically enforced the idea that they own the word Scrolls because they trademarked the Elder Scrolls, and I find that dumb, but whatever. Number two, some of the sprites and fonts came from Notch's previous game, Legend of Chambered. Legend of Chambered was kind of a first-person dungeon crawling type game that Notch sort of just lost interest in, but he took basically all the body armor sprites from it, as well as a few accessories. Over time, the sprites have changed just a little bit, and obviously upgraded versions of the armor don't look entirely the same they added to them, but still. This is an interesting little tidbit from Notch's past that involves the look and feel of Minecraft today. And number one, the very first Minecraft pixel art was created two and a half hours 
after the game was first made available. It was the original sprite from the original Super Mario Brothers. It was rather crude compared to the pixel art you see in Minecraft today, but you have to remember there was considerably less materials at the time than there are now. Still, it was really cool that such a creative tool immediately encouraged people to get into that retro mode. And some bonus facts for you. Did you know that when Endermen are moving in a group, it is called a haunting of Endermen, much like a murder of crows? Emeralds in Minecraft were once rubies. They were changed to emeralds because one of the developers was colorblind and couldn't easily tell the difference between redstone ore and ruby ore. According to Notch, the player's character and all other beings in the entire game have no gender. Everything is androgynous and really likes 1980s synth pop. In Minecraft 1.8, zombies no longer break doors the same way. In fact, they introduced the concept of a leader zombie. Leader zombies can always break doors, whereas other zombies generally can't. Other zombies only have a 1-2% to chance of being able to break doors. The old school TNT still exists in Minecraft, you just have to summon it with a data value of 1. Endstone has the same texture as cobblestone, however it's just been negativized where the colors have been inverted, depending on how you want to say it. It's the same texture, but it just looks so unbelievably different. It's like it's the opposite. You can actually pull a horse behind a boat and bring it over an ocean, though it's a lot of work for nothing. Text on signs is just a little tiny floating bit in front of the sign. It's its own polygon. Pretty much all the flowers except the yellow flower have an ID of red. It happened because originally there was only the red and the yellow flowers, but other flowers were added that were basically copies of the red flower with different colors. And finally, the default fish in Minecraft is a cod. They're kind of just fish though. Tasty fish. So anyway, if you learned something or just plain liked one of the things that we said, leave a comment and tell us what you think. Also, don't forget to click the like button. It helps us immeasurably. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do subscribe because we upload daily videos and that is the absolute easiest way to see them first. We thank you very much for watching this and as always, we will see you next time on GameRanks.